The home screen on the Alita is carried over from the Mimas. There is no differences and they still have these widgets here that you can't really get rid of, but you can add to them and choose the one you want and so forth. You do have some design elements up top, home, le uh, back, you have A2 mode, you can turn that on or off, says A2, and more that shows everything that is open, recent managers, uh, you can just go ahead and clear all that if you'd like. And you have the Wi-Fi, logo, battery, and time. If you click that, you get another menu. You get battery, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, the light on or off. I'll show you that later. Volume slider bar and a contrast bar that you can change at any time. And the entire device's UI will change along with it, not just books. Speaking of books, your books are here, recently read. And some apps in the middle that will change based on what you open. Up here is home, books, notes, and app. And then your settings menu. Clicking on your settings, you get the standard settings that come with Android, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, reading, user, power, device, apps, system, and about device. If we click on about device, you will see that we are running Android 6.0.1 and there you have it right there. It's worth mentioning that you do have the ability to press the home button on the side now and it does have haptic feedback with a vibrator inside. So this will have any sort of vibration elements that you require so notifications, games and so forth. SD card is found on the side of the device and no it is not an extended tray that has two SIM card slots you cannot put a SIM card in here it is just an SD card or trans flash as they call it in Asia and Europe. The stylus is a conventional Wacom stylus with a lapel clip, an eraser at the back and a secondary button for certain apps. Not all apps will use that and then the tip pushes in like that. These don't need to be powered, charged, recharged, battery replaced and they are very cheap to replace the parts and the thing itself. Right out of the gates, the Alita is completely customizable to the next level I would say. If you tap in the center, you do have a slider bar that allows you to go forward and backwards and quick nav. If you go to the double A button, you don't have a whole lot of fonts. In fact, you only have three, but if you click on these, you can actually change the font size on the slider bar and you can choose to bold and italicize or at the same time, the entire book and it changes instantly. It's a very fast change. There's no loading. There's no rendering required. You do have a quick key for the font sizes as well. There's five. You can do typeset and that splits the um, word spacing you can see right there and you can actually click the three dots and do row spacing interval word spacing left and right distance and upper lower distance you got to be careful because it can get a little bit squirrely if you you know spread the words too far apart but that is a lot of customization right out of the gates for the stock experience they also have something that no other note-taking device really does and that is translation not dictionary definition not look up online built-in translation you can see right there we went from english to japanese in a second and you can click the little icon here and you have three pages of languages and i i don't even i don't even know how many that is there there's more than 10 per row and there's three pages of them so there's a lot of languages to choose from here and every time you click it it immediately does it in the uh, selected language that is very fast amazon level fast and amazon has been doing that very well for years they also have the ability to long press on something to do copy underline annotation and wiki those aren't what we're here for though we're here for note taking primarily so if we click the thing at the top this one puts it in a side by side and I didn't anchor the device down because I wanted to show you guys this you can turn pages on the left and note take on the right we're not going to show you too many options because we're going to save that for the note taking experience the greatest part about this is the latency they cut it down so hard it is on point now I got to hand it to them for the speed it's fantastic but because there's a screen that is flush screen and bezel 
it's not as good as the Mimas was because the Mimas you had a lot of that resistance on the nib on the screen. This one's kind of glassy and glazy so although the latency is on point um, the feel is a little bit gone. You can click pen or pencil. Pen will have the bleed on it so you can press hard or you can press lightly make hairlines or make kind of big drippy uh, you know heavy ink lines you do have line spacing here line width eraser size so if we draw something like a box we can go to the eraser double click it and go range eraser so we can choose that area and then we can go on track erase and erase it like that or we can go on all erase and actually if you draw a line you can just flip the pen over and use the eraser again and then you can continue using the pen so unlike the whiskey you don't actually have to re-click on anything now we're going to go back to the pen and draw my award-winning box and what we're going to do is use this one which will isolate the element and we can move it around we can do a couple things here we can rotate it we can expand it but you can't change the actual dimensions of it you can only make it bigger or smaller you can't make it wider or or you can't squish it you can click this and this allows you to copy it you click on the three dots to go down to paste and that pastes it you can see I've just doubled it right there now we're gonna clear the whole page because this is probably the most uh, amazing thing about this device is the AI feature well the a with the little cursor but it looks like AI so if I just write something so I've written in two different languages if I click the AI you'll see what it does is actually isolate everything on the page that I've written and it wrote exactly what I wrote. It wrote Peter and then wrote Japanese. So that is fantastic. You can actually write on the page and you can see my font wasn't perfect either. I, that isn't a conventional R and the E's not connected but it still did it and it did it well. That is really cool. You do have backgrounds as well so you can go week plan, double column checklist, lattice map. There's two pages of them actually. Column, bar, pinion, etc. And you do have back if you make a mistake. I'll just complete that. So you can also create a new page, go back and forth the pages, and turn on ban mode. And ban mode will uh, have palm rejection so you won't get in the way. But the palm rejection technology is so good already, you can have five points on the screen and there's absolutely no delay whatsoever. So final thing here is we're just going to do some light writing. I'll just write a sentence. You can check it out. Kind of hide my hand here. In terms of their apps and app store, there isn't too much loaded on here from the get-go, which is good. It's not bogged down with a whole lot of background processes. You do have music, app store, dictionary, a couple other things. If we go to their app store, you do have some apps, but there's only 10. But, I mean, you don't really need that many for an e-reader anyways. They just do this as a courtesy. You have Comixology, Audible, uh, Google Play Books, Script, Kindle. It's all things that are necessary for a device like this. So you can see there is a little bit of lag, but not to the point where you don't understand what's happening. This can play videos on YouTube by simply just clicking A2 mode. Something that even the Decacore 10 core whiskey can't even do. One slight downside I can think of is that yes, they do have orange lighting with intensity and yes, they do have blue lighting with intensity, but you can't mix them. You can't actually turn all the LEDs on at the same time. And when you switch from blue to orange, it changes. But then when you switch from orange to blue, it turns off for a second and then turns back on almost like a toggle. So I really wish they would have incorporated a way to have the blue LEDs and the orange LEDs on at the same time instead of swapping them. So you could find a little bit of a better white balance. We've seen a lot of devices that prioritize note taking and we see a lot of devices that have Android on them and we have seen a lot of devices that have a lot of things that 
hold it back and that you have compromises. This is a no compromise device. This is one of the few no compromise devices we've ever used. The only thing I could really say is holding it back is that they went flush screen and bezel, although that looks great and it's clean and it protects the screen from scratches, you lose a little bit of writing feel. But the latency is down, the speed is up, everything about this is completely on point and working perfect. Um, I can't see really any drawbacks to this device and typically Boyu products are even cheaper than their um, competitors and they include more things screen protectors cases etc this thing is absolutely brilliant I hope it does well I hope they don't change too much and I hope they keep supporting this device because it's looking good as it is so for goodyreader.com and a full review of the Alita this is Peter